Hi, I'm Jim Smyrniotopoulos, and we're going to talk briefly about autoregulation of cerebral blood flow. This has nothing to do with where you can park and how fast you can drive. The brain is about one-fiftieth of the body's weight in an adult patient. It gets about one-sixth of the cardiac output, and it uses about 20% or one-fifth of the oxygen that we consume every day. The cerebral gray matter has four times the blood flow as compared to the white matter. And this is typically done in a standardized way by looking at the gray matter of the cerebral cortex and the white matter of the corpus callosum. In the process of autoregulation, there is local control of cerebral perfusion and blood flow. This is due to a sphincter-like mechanism in the precapillary arteriole that is responsive to tissue PCO2 and pH and very slightly to tissue oxygenation or PO2. This local regulation of cerebral blood flow is the mechanism for bold functional MRI. We can also test this actively by giving the patient acetazolamide and watching for an increase in cerebral perfusion. In a pressure passive system, cerebral blood flow is going to be linearly related to mean arterial pressure. But this is not good for the functioning of the brain. So in the brain, we want to maintain cerebral perfusion, and we do that by arteriolar vasoconstriction of the precapillary arteriole, that last arteriole before the capillary bed. And that will bend this curve so that we can maintain the same degree of cerebral perfusion over a wide range of mean arterial pressure, typically described as between 80 and 180 millimeters of mercury. In patients who have chronic hypertension, this curve is shifted to the right. And in these patients, if you lower their blood pressure into what would otherwise be a normal range, they may actually reduce their cerebral perfusion. So autoregulation is a mechanism by which the brain locally controls blood flow in a physiologic and dynamic manner based on looking at tissue pH and tissue PCO2. I'm Jim Smyrniotopoulos. I thank you for attention and I have approved this message.